So I just wanted to explain quickly what is going on. So I was looking back and I noticed that I missed up a lot of the One Piece chapter reviews. So I figured I would go back and I would do them and then release them when there isn't a chapter. So today I'm starting off with one of the, my third review I missed when I started reviewing it. I missed, the, I missed it the third week I've been doing it. Chapter 799. So, titled Parent and Child, so I'm going to quickly discuss the chapter and review it. So the chapter starts off with Luffy and Fujitora fighting, and Luffy just continues to tell Fujitora what he's going to do, how he's going to kick his ass, and this kind of pisses Fujitora off because he's a Marine Admiral, so he's not used to people pitying him, and Luffy isn't pitying him. Luffy is just honestly annoyed that Fujitora can't see him beat him up. He doesn't like that Fujitora won't know that Luffy is punching him in the face or if he kicking him. He doesn't know that Fujitora can't tell that. That pisses Luffy off. So we telling him how we kicking his ass. And I like that. Just classic Luffy. Classic Luffy logic. Really good stuff there. Then of course we get the great thing where Zoro's about to tag in and that was great. We know Zoro can't be an admiral, we know that, in my opinion at least. So, but Zoro's about to tag in and Luffy, and I, uh, Zoro, Bartomeo, my man, it's like, no, 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 Zoro, stand by, you can't just, so good, so good. I mean, some, just wrote the ending, in general, it's just great. This arc has been going on way too long, so I'm very happy that it is finally ending. So that, that, that is a thing, and there's also, then there's the rest of the chapter, which is the second half, but people direct wrote to intercept Fujitora by getting in his way, and they're cursing Luffy, like they're acting like, oh, we need to behead Straw Hat Luffy, he kidnapped Princess Rebecca, all this too, by the way, in my previous review, I mentioned how terrified I was Rebecca was gonna join, I hate Rebecca, I was like horrified. Uh, so then God Rebecca didn't join, that would have been terrible. No, but so they were like chasing after him, which was just great. Then, and then, then you see that they're all smiling, but then Fujitora is blind, he can't be sure, and he's forced to let Luffy and the other Straw Hat get away, along with the rest of the members of the top, the top Sam Fighters. I will call called them the members of the Grand Fleet. I'm trying to stay in timeline here. <laughs> No, so, they get away, and they ask Luffy if he will allow them to become, if they will allow, if they can become his children, like, Whitebeard had people below him that were his children. And yeah, so they slowly start telling him why they should do it, and they explain what they want to do. Then they all get on their knees, and they ask, can we become your children? And that is the thing of the episode. We get a bit of a party first. Like, they're all just par- we get some party first, like, the them eating, stuff like that. But they do act and they can be a children. That was great. And that's the cliffhanger for chapter 800. Now, I obviously know what's gonna happen. So I really can't speculate it. I really like this chapter. I'm not a fan of a Grand Sleep scenario. I'm not. I'm not a fan- I was not a fan of it when it happened and I'm still not. I would much rather have them just formed an alliance with Luffy, and then screw it all. I do not like Luffy having underlings. I don't like it. Now that is what ended up happening, of course, but it still kind of bothered me that this chapter took place. So, yeah. Those are my thoughts on One Piece Chapter 799. It's a really good chapter. I feel like either this chapter, unlike a lot of chapters... Ugh. How'd it burp? Unlike a lot of One Piece chapters, is um, it has a lot of things happen. It's not just like one thing and then another thing. It's like Fujitora fight, escape from Drekrota, parent and child and party stuff with with the uh, Coliseum fighter. So that was great. I really enjoyed this chapter. Very excited for the next arc of One Piece, though, which of course I've already reviewed. But you guys get the point. I'm going to be reviewing parts of it that I missed. I missed, like, 
chapter 803 through 807. So be on the lookout for those. Now, how am I going to upload these? One page is constantly on break, so I think I'll upload it when those chapters would be released. I feel like that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'll upload these peri lot periodically. Like if I don't have anything to upload, like a discussion or anything, I'll upload one of these. And if I don't have, like, I don't know. If I don't have something to upload, I'll upload one of these. They're not gonna go up often. I'm gonna have a whole file of these on my computer. I'll upload over time and try to get them out. But I don't wanna spam you guys with, with the reviews of old chapters. But I do want to eventually Catch up so I can have a complete playlist of every chapter from 798 to where we currently are. Because I missed a couple of weeks and I've been really bad with making up my reviews. So I figured I would do it all now. Because if I if I completely caught up, then I'll be more motivated to like make up my reviews on like a Friday or a Saturday. It's more motivation for me. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my review. Tell me your thoughts on this chapter in the comments, and if you want to discuss the future events of the manga, go ahead, I don't care. Discuss, just discuss this chapter in the comments, and how the Grand Fleet may play into the future of the story, I already know what it is. So yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments, like the video if you enjoyed, 